almost it's practically a closed off community around here. You know? I haven't been around here in a long time. Long, long time. Now we're heading eastbound. We're heading well, north sort of towards Pure Foam. Not to be negative, but I do remember many, many years ago, I mean like back in the Caprice days, there was actually a cop who pulled over somebody around here and the cop got out of the car, couldn't see the driver because there was front tinted glass and the cop was shot. Wow. And you can see the river back there actually. Yeah, so ever since then it's it's illegal to have front, your, your front side windows tinted. Mm -hmm. So the bees. Realty. Wow, these are freaking cats. Sotheby's is major. Yeah, it's an international uh, auction company. Auction company yeah. Look at the gates and everything. Oh, they do, Jesus. they do car auctions too, Sotheby's. Okay, Mr. Audi, I'm watching you too, pal. Oh, he's fine. He just came up quickly before and he's slowed down. He's not like he can pass me here. It's so regular. Yeah, it's not, it's not like all of them drive like maniacs. No. And them actually take care in driving a, a car that has you know high horsepower or whatever and actually treat it with respect and treat others on the road with respect. Boy, that looks like a haunted house almost. Oh, it's it's no spooky one, looking. Uh, it's not that spooky. It's just, it's, maybe it's just its location. Great Street to cruise a classic on. Oh my god. You know? One day, buddy, you and me were going to do it. Oh, you know it. Yeah. You know it. It's not going to be fucking cheap though, unfortunately. Of course, I keep thinking sometimes, I keep thinking like if we did do it, I keep trying to think of ways to like you know, find ways to, for it to run cheaper on gas. I mean, you can do all the tuning you want, but you know me, I think for me, my my dream would be, like I said, to get a Caprice or something or whatever, and just like make it electric completely. And, well, even though it, but unfortunately the downside is, well, you know. That would be like way limited. expensive. Though. Yeah, I, that's the thing. It's limited driving, you know, like, and it takes like, you know, an hour or two hours to charge. And oh, Dude, so most modern electric cars, you leave them on, on the charger at home overnight, it takes like seven hours to charge the battery fully. That's crazy. It really, really take a long time. Yeah, that's crazy. Those, those superchargers are, are, are only fast. There's like an old uh, Roadmaster kind of thing, like the, like the one we saw earlier but behind this house. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, he's got a Trans Am too. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Another and the Roadmaster actually looks identical to the one I filmed in Lachine last year. Oh, this is charming, isn't it, eh? Send you. sec. Garbage collection. Some woman getting her mail. Bonjour, madame. But really. I know, no kidding. Is this a recent thing, eh? Dude, what the fuck? It's an old caboose. It's not a caboose. No, it's not. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was a caboose. <laughs> oh. I say you need to get your eyes checked, but that would be kind of redundant. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Oh, that was a high voice. What a pitch. Oh! Shut up! Ooh, that's a really old home. And how do you still find this, eh? Yeah. Well, at least it's not, this is not trying to pass us or anything. There's still, this is, this actually might belong to a farm, believe it or not. There's still a couple of farms yeah. left out here. It's hard to believe in Montreal. Well, it might be. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'm looking from what I see, I would say yes. Some of that line also belongs to McGill or John Abbott. Or what? McGill owns, uh, owns a big, large spot of land there. And between the 20 and the 40, same thing in the Bellevue there. Really? It's like old farmland. I if it's still used for some sort of agricultural work or something. I like driving with my friend. You want to go? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, what's this? This is a weird looking house. Yeah. Tiny. Oh no, garage. it's not that tiny. <laughs> Side of it, I mean, so that's a weird looking that's house. That's a weird house. I thought they were garages or something. It's unique, that's for sure. Good, uh, nice tree line. Our barbecue. Good place to dump a dead body. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Are you planning something? Yeah, that's right. Right. that's right. That's right. I'm a serial killer. Psycho killer. I knew it. Guess, guess, say. Maybe it's a psycho killer following us in a red. Uzi, Uzi, see it. Trying to hide the color of blood. I think we're on the island of Montreal right now. We are. No, we are. We we never left Montreal. I know, no, I know. We're that. right on the tip. See, look. That's. I think this is farmland right here. One of the tech youtubers I watch. Tech youtubers. What? Tech youtubers that I watch actually lives out here somewhere. Really? 
Yeah. My name is Rene Ritchie. Well, he's made a good living for himself, eh? He always he's been been he's been a years. tech analyst, tech journalist for years. We still have the train scanner on here. Not that we're that close to the track right now. Uh, yeah, we're just too Noisy. Okay, so please. Well, at least he was patient with me. He, did, he wasn't like riding up my, behind my bumper. Run, Captain, ride up on your crystal ship farm. I think. Oh, maybe not. You wouldn't think you were in Montreal. That's you know that's what's the amazing thing about this part of this town. Look, this is probably the 68. This is probably where yeah. it starts. Yeah, right about where it starts. I haven't seen any farms yet though. Oh, it's not on the left. Oh, Mustang, Mustang, 60s Mustang. No. Oh yeah, that's a Falcon, bro. 66 oh. to 68. Oh, there Dario you go. In the Corvette. You didn't even notice the yeah, vet. I saw the vet. I saw the vet. You saw the vet. You saw the vet. I was focused on the Falcon. Little red Corvette. Well, I think that might be Cap Saint Jacques because I remember camping there as a kid in '92 and I got a wicked sunburn Ouch. and I got eaten alive by mosquitoes in my tent. Double and I remember the day after I took my bike and I biked all the way to Saint Laurent to go to a car show. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, you know you're passionate. Yeah, I don't. I think here this That's is pure. I think this. Is, I think this is pure here. Oh, the, the street signs still have. The oh yeah. Sensitive. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And when you're right, you're right. Sometimes when I'm right, I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. Look, I think that's the turn. That's yeah. the yeah. That's the turnaround. I think too for the 68. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I will say something. I will say one thing. This, this road is eating my my gas mileage. <laughs> I need to go and fill up soon. Oh, it's not that bad. You're not driving downtown in Sherbrooke here. No. Yes. Mind you, well, how are, how are you? Where's your gas tank? 173 right now. I don't know what the hell that means. What do you think? 173 kilometers third? left in range. Yeah, about a third left. Ah, uh, you're okay. Yeah, but I don't know. Dude, we're not wearing wool trucks. Wool trucks. Oh, LTO! Oh, oh it's an LTO! Redemption from oh, the one we missed earlier. Shit. <laughs> there was a nicer one anyway. It was a nice orange color. Oh man. Anyway, what I was trying to say is there's no gas stations on the point. But it's alright. It goes towards St. John's and we'll just veer off there. That's it. You know. Ooh, this is lovely. Lovely little blue sky, you know, it's nice. Everything's getting more green. Trees are budding. People are out. People are outside. It's not freezing. Today being the 12th of uh, April. There. I think there's some farms here. I thought there were still farms left. Are they all gone? Did they, were they? Oh my God! Please, are you serious? Were there? Are there? Oh, here's your turnaround. Look at this! I don't even remember seeing any schools around here. Oh, this is not old at all. No, this is not old school. Holy shit! That's not old at all. It show, oh my God! It shows I haven't been around here in a long time. I don't remember ever seeing a school around here. Holy cow! Unreal. Yes, it is a schoolyard. Are you sure this is still Centerville? I don't think so. I think this is Pierrefonds. I think they changed. The, I think they changed the signs. Oh, look at that. What? 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 The water. Oh, I thought you saw. I thought you saw a car or something. Wind off the water. For some reason, I want to see the smoke. Run the water, fire in the sky. Somebody's calling me. Shit. Damn it. I did video. Damn it. Pick up your phone. I'm gonna call him back. I'm doing a video. <laughs> Look, there's an ambulance. BMW, BMW. Oh wow. Mercedes. Ooh. Who was who was the phone call? It's Ed. Ah. Okay, I'll call him right back. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll call him right back. He better, not, he better not tell me he's ready to go now because oh my gosh, me to go You know what? We don't have to go today and look, there's see there's a farm here. We don't have to go get that canvas today anyway for Christ's sake, he's off for a week. The sedan version of my car on a flatbed. <laughs> For whatever reason. Yeah, the 68 is a mighty long route. Look at this. This is all recent. I don't remember any of this. That's all recent. It's still very nice. Reminds me kind of my town. Lots of trees. Yeah. Not poor.
poor. Not poor at all. But, but you'll see it change. Kanzak is rich too. <laughs> but you'll see it changes so, though. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have you. We're coming up soon to an intersection of. Uh, Jesus Christ. No, I, can't, I can't remember the name of the street now. My. my uh, I used to live near here, believe it or not. After my parents divorced, my mom right. bought a uh, she, she she bought a condo, and uh, now I can't remember the name of the street. What the hell is called? I knew it for years. And uh, I'll have you pull off. There's a dip on there. You can park there, and I'll just call back in so I can okay, continue that. So I can continue this video because okay. I'd like to continue it because after that that street, I've seen some old stuff. I've seen some old cars. I did a walking video one time with my cousin. This fucking '69 Coronet convertible drives by us, like a rat, almost like you know, like, it, like well. Sort of like just you know like it looked like a barn fly you know it was got they got it running and so and I, I, I it was like I was telling you before I still can't get that the image of that Delray that I saw with Black Wheels saw in front of my head I don't know why it looks it just seems so cool in my head maybe you'll own it one day how come none of this looks familiar to me what the fuck like where am I I don't remember any of this stuff well, I knew so. well this is this is still old this stuff right here. yeah what the hell yeah added stuff. Oh, we must be coming out. Yeah, we're coming up now to that, that debonair I told you about. Wow, a lot of change, a lot of changes. And again, I walked here a few years ago. My cousin there, it's here, I think. No, I don't see Wait, what street is this? This is don't. Chateau Pierrefonds. Okay, my aunt used to live here. Yeah, we're almost... You know what? I can turn left. There's like a no. little parking area here. Dude. Uh, yeah. All right, that's Chateau Pierrefonds. Sure. call it that. And Aramaya. I remember my aunt Sharon, she actually lived there a while, a very short while with her now husband, my uncle Rob. And uh, I remember my uncle Rob had a, man, he had like a, I don't know, an 89 to 91 T-Bird supercharged. Oh man, that thing was beautiful. But as much as he's a mechanic and has his own garage in Orleans, I don't find he's as much as a car guy as I am because he never, he's never spoke about it or like any kind of fond memories or... 468. I, I think he's probably, it's because he's been in that business too long, personally. Yeah. Gold colored. Uh, well, all that sexy. Oh. I, I can't believe, oh, that's was the name of the street I lived off. It was called Dick Hazur. Yeah, it's coming up here. Oh, so that reminds me of a street all over again, can you put the air on in here? Like, I don't know why you don't have any air on in here. Don't have, yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to mean air. I don't mean necessarily air conditioning because no. air conditioning costs money. I mean, just air. Fine. Air conditioning or heat is going to cost either, right? It no, it doesn't. It's the air conditioning that costs money. And I'm not sure why, actually. Oh, it yeah. has to cool the air. Look, that's Dick Hesher. There's Dick a, Hesher, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's the uh, Dippiner. And I used to live on the street behind that called uh, Bibul. And oddly enough, my aunt lived, not my aunt, my cousins lived near, near on that street nearby too as well. Now you might see a few old cars around here actually. That's why I wanted to come down here too. My, my, my interest has peaked after seeing that Falcon. Yeah. Looks like there's a Miata. Alright. Yeah, the road's gotten kind of shitty. Eh? I don't know, I feel kind of bad, like kind of wish you could hang with us though. But the thing is that with the van, that canvas is so freaking big, you, there won't be any room for three of us. That's the thing. Mm. Yeah, plus you got your car anyway. Well, I could just park my car somewhere, but, or I could follow you guys. Not only that, that when like it went, and so that he could avoid paying for parking downtown, because we're going to go to the Emeritus Center on St. Catherine Street near uh, uh, Barry. I got the idea last night. I told him, I was like, well, look, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to take like five minutes max, maybe. I said, just, just circle a couple of blocks. Yeah, you told me about that. <laughs> you know, it's brilliant, actually. Uh, it is more Whoa, I that's really neat. You see that? Yeah, what is that? The Z4, but it's like green. No, like I'm, olive green. no I'm looking at the Camry over here. Oh, uh, the Camry, no. I what? Started, that's what caught my eye. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fancy. Olive green Z4. That's, see, that's different. That's different. That's very, normally time I see those cars, they're always silver, white, or black. Taking outside the box, as we say. That's the original color, if it's a wrap or something. Speaking of wraps, I've actually thought a couple more times since I've had this car to put it. I know it would probably make no sense for like in terms of cost because it's not cheap to wrap a car, but I mean that would be kind of cool, wouldn't you think? Change the color. Uh, well, at first I was thinking no because you're probably I don't I don't see you keeping this car very long, honestly. Saint Charles. No, 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 no. Just keep no, on. We're I gonna go all the way to Saint John's. 
And, uh, but, however, if it's something that really pops and it was in good taste, yeah, well, I think, I think, I, think it, I just saw, a, 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 what the hell are they called? I, I, San, uh, uh, Figaro, I think it's called. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, not interested. Interested. I'm not interested. I'm not really interested in those. Uh, they're funky looking cars. That's yeah. what, they're, they're unique. But you know what I'm saying? Like a wrap where like it really pops because these cars are so common in white. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to put a color, but I still don't want to put a color that's like ridiculous, you know, at the same time. I want to put something that looks that looks good, but you know, that's better than white. You know, you'll get to see the condo my dad had for a couple of years coming up here. Coming up soon. Or wait, did we pass it? I don't know. Why would we pass it? <laughs> oh well. We passed that, I wasn't paying attention. Pay attention. By the way, this is Saint Genevieve, which is now merged with Pierrefonds. Oh, it's this truck here. Oh, oh, left. What truck? Look what left. truck? Look left. Look left. Oh shit! I know that guy. I know that guy. He work. He works. That's uh, that's uh, uh, John Joe. What the hell's his name? I, I know he, that truck was for sale. I don't know if it's still oh, his, sick. but he was a uh, uh, delivery guy for Spanos Pizza. Very cool. Worked for Chris. Chris, I can't remember. Eric. That's his name, Eric. But I'm not sure if that's his truck though. I'd say we'll go eat at Spanos one day, but only when the goddamn COVID is over, I guess. Before I got that. I had another friend who had an apartment near here also, my friend Tim Lindemann. So it's kind of neat to come here. And look, there, I took a picture of that, the 911 dip on there, that's classic. That's cool. I like the music, maybe there's that's some the church, some church steeples for you. Yeah, oh yeah, that beautiful church where we went one time for Christmas, at the Christmas Eve. You paid mass? Yep, yeah, midnight mass, and it was packed. And that was yeah. like, and I was like, that was like '92 or something. 91. It's gonna feel weird when, when, it, when. And look at, wait, wait, wait! Look at this! Look, you, you know how weird an, an old in area is? Look, the freaking telephone poles are in the street. Yeah, like in La Prairie, La Prairie near my house, it's like that. Too. Well, I like to see and that an old church too, because I haven't seen enough of the old La Prairie. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say it's gonna, it's gonna f feel very weird when this thing ends. We can be in a crowd of people again and just be with a whole bunch of other people. It's gonna weird? feel weird. It's weird? gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel amazing. It's gonna feel amazing, but weird because it's gonna feel out of place. It's been so long already. It's already been over a year, and we're still in it for at least another one. At least another year, I think. Until things are yeah. somewhat, even if people are vaccinated. Sadly. And besides, the vaccines don't immunize. I told you, that's the thing. I'm not 100% convinced about the get vaccines. And one of the reasons why is because these are things that take years to develop. They develop no, them it's, in a it's year. No, it's not that. It's not, that's not the, the concern of the vaccine. The vaccine is fine. People are, have a misconception that the vaccine is a cure. Yeah, that's people right. People from getting COVID entirely, that's not true. Right. It, all it does is it, it reduces the severity of the cases. So if you get, you so that you can take the vaccine and still get COVID, but you know, the first magazines I ever bought were from that building we just passed, that green building. They used to have an antiques, no, I think it's here, an antiques flea, uh, flea market every sure Sunday. Yeah, every Sunday. And, um, man, it's still there. I haven't been there in years. Look at that 300Z convertible. And there was a restaurant I used to eat here called La Roulette, I think. It was over here somewhere. It was like a La Fleur type of style restaurant, you know? Garage, always a cheeky yeah. Ah, it's just a beautiful part of town, though. You know. Still hard Again, to believe. Very, it's very. Out of yeah, I was just gonna say it's it's it has a very small town look to it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. There you go. Make it right here. Thanks for watching, guys. We're gonna finish this here. And by the way, uh, no, this is Jacques Mizal. Oh no 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 no! But it, this is Saint John's. Oh, Jacques Mizal. Yeah. Becomes... Oh no no! You know what? We're gonna turn here anyway. Here. And anyway, uh, guys, uh, thanks for watching and I uh, and, uh, appreciate uh, Ben uh, for driving as well. And even though I, I rarely ever get any kind of uh, gratuities anymore or donations, whatever you want to call them, if you want to send me something, and, uh, you can do that through my uh, email, which is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. Elton, like Elton John, McFall, M-C-F-A-L-L, -L, at hotmail.com through PayPal or preferably an e-transfer in Canada. Or you can, of course, maybe become a patron on Patreon. Look for the link on my uh uh, you started your Patreon? YouTube channel. I not know about this? Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's, I, I had two people for a while, now only, only, I only have Scott there right now as a patron, so I gotta work harder on you that. Know, you can maybe also try using the, uh, the join feature, the channel membership feature on YouTube, which is kind of the same thing as Patreon, only it's built into YouTube. So this is stuff that you should come over one day and like, yeah, you know, tell me YouTube. about and we can look, you know, not help me out. I would never need, but you could use yeah. it. Okay, guys, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed watching. We, we certainly had fun. Uh, we certainly had fun on this ride. Bye.